Thousands of immigrants plan to walk off the job today. It's part of a movement referred to as a day without immigrants. Two News reporter Kelly King tells us how what's happening today is in hopes of capturing the attention of the president. It's an effort to show the president how critical immigrants are to the country's economy and way of life. That's why thousands are expected to stay home from work or school. A day without immigrants actions are planned in major cities across the country. This is video of a similar protest held earlier in the week in Wisconsin. Today's movement comes in response to President Trump's pledge to increase the deportation of immigrants living in the country illegally. The president campaigned on building a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border and blamed high unemployment on immigration. Restaurants all across the country are planning to close today to get the president's attention. We have a lot of uh, immigrants living here, working here. You know, we have all these people living here with their families, uh, paying taxes, coming to our business, buying our products. We have people that they are part of this DNA, that they are working on golf courses, maybe owned by Mr. Trump himself, in restaurants, in farms. The protest has gained momentum on social media and by word of mouth. Immigrants are expected to take part in Philadelphia, Washington, Boston, Houston, Chicago, and New York, just to name a few. Kelly King, 2 News Today, working for you.